Hi everybody, it's May 21, 2019. Government fines elderly man $30,000. He can't pay it, so the city of Dundon, Florida is trying to take his property away. Why? Because he didn't mow his grass. It got too tall. Oh my God. Well, that sounds just right. It sounds fair. Yeah, living in a free society, right? No, Jim Ficken, not a criminal, never been to jail, model citizen, town of Dundon, Florida. What happened? Well, he went out of town to take care of his late mother's estate and knowing that, well, when your lawn gets a little bit too long, neighbors get upset. So he hired a friend to cut it for him while he was away. That friend died and he didn't know. Okay, so the grass does what grass does. It grew, but code inspectors came, saw that it was more than 10 inches. Well, uh -huh, that was it. The code enforcer threw the book at him. The city government claimed Jim owed them money. For every day that that grass remained more than 10 inches, fined $500 for every day. 57 days worth. And he can't pay the 30000 He's retired on a fixed income can't pay. So, what's the next step? City steals your property. I have been saying this. Many people have been saying these are the Agenda 21, Agenda 2030 code enforcers. And uh, on Kafka Winston World, I posted a video showing that, yeah, there are many communities around the country that have already passed their legislation. Many town councils have, yep, they have implemented or um, enacted their rules and regulations. Areas are already sending out the code enforcers, but those code enforcers are coming out in other areas sooner or later. Got to cut your grass. Agenda 2030. You, know, you have to make sure that you have uh, one car in your driveway. That's it. Or maybe two, depending on how much property you own. Your grass better not be any taller than the city says it needs to be. And boy, you better not be around neighbors who are, well, excuse my French, assholes. Because there's an awful lot of Americans who do not care what consequences they bring about upon someone else. They just, hey, I want your lawn to look like everybody else's lawn. The candy cutter standard lawn. You know, I've heard from people who live in these home associations and wow, do they have to. You know, I even heard in Texas from a subscriber who has to have a certain grass, bit, you know, a, a particular type of grass that they have to grow. If, if they seed other grass, they could be fined. I am so sick of this country. But for you guys who think that Americans are not a part of this nightmare that we're living, I don't know how you could possibly think that. So he's trying not to think about it. I'll be booted out of this house. I'll have to find another place to live. The Institute for Justice took on his case and stated, Jim asked the city if they would reconsider and give him a fair fine or a new hearing but they rejected that. 
This is how psychopathic Americans are. They're crazy, psychopathic, narcissistic, control freaks. You don't do it my way? Okay. You're going to suffer the consequences. So in February, the U.S. Supreme Court unanimously ruled that the Eighth Amendment prohibits cities from imposing excessive fines. You know, uh, we've got to get rid of government, man. All right, it's outrageous for being fined this amount for being tardy, cutting your grass. Yeah, it is very outrageous. But listen to this. In 2007, <laughs> the entire amount of fines that this city got, 34000 A decade later, 2017, the city was raking in 20 times as much, 700000 Fiscal year 2018, $1.3 in fines alone. City's code enforcement attorney, the one who refused to negotiate with Jim, calls the system a well-oiled machine, and I'm proud of it. Yeah, I don't give a shit that I'm going to be putting an elderly man who lives on a fixed income out of his home. I'm proud of what I do. 2018 alone, the city authorized four closures on 18 homes. One was over $250. This is happening. This is happening. All right, well, yeah, it is happening. Cops protect town from hardened criminal issues. Arrest warrant to 70-year-old woman for tall grass. Oh, you, you do the research, you will find so many Americans are, they over nothing put in a circumstance where suddenly their life becomes a nightmare, a nightmare with which they can't get out of. Now, sorry to tell you this, but those government officials the city attorneys, the code enforcers, they are your fellow Americans. Doing this to fellow Americans. 75 years old in Rysel, Texas. 75-year-old Jerry Suttle stunned when she received a call from the local police chief informing her that there was a warrant issued for her arrest. I'll be 76 in July. I'm 75 now. I've never had a speeding ticket never had a parking ticket and now here I got a warrant for my arrest from the big city of Rysel arrest warrant for failure to appear before a judge on a matter regarding the height of her grass she said she never received a letter informing her of the court date and I've heard that from a whole lot I never got notification and suddenly you're arrested for something you didn't I, because, well, that seems to be happening quite a bit, too. Hmm. Seems that there's an awful lot of Americans that just want to screw people. Hmm. So, she's scared to drive now because if she gets stopped, she'll get picked up, arrested, and thrown in jail for her grass being too long. Why aren't people able to have a natural lawn without the expectation of some cup cutty? Cook, cookie, cookie, Carol. It's cookie. Oh, okay. Cookie cutter yard standard by which all properties must be judged. Subtle son said he'd come and mow the grass. His mother isn't physically able to, but the city? Uh, well, we may not drop our arrest warrant. We're still going to get you, 75 year old. Subtle. Well, of course. The ordeal is ridiculous. But it's also showing you the police state that we live in. And it's showing you the code enforcers coming to your home with rulers. They'll measure your grass. And if it's above what becomes the international standard for Grass height, no joke, do the research. United Nations Agenda 21, 2030. If it is, well, pushes above that standard, 
you'll be issued fines. Inspectors, code inspectors will come and, well, they'll first come and knock on your door and ask to be let in. Eventually, they will just, well, they'll probably knock on your door, but you will have to let them in without an appointment to do their inspections. And if something's wrong in your house, you'll be fine. Yeah, people laugh at us. Protecting and serving Texas man thrown in jail for weeks because his lawn was overgrown. An electrician at the Tarrant County College worked from sunup to sundown, loved by everybody. Uh, Grand Prairie, Texas. Well, he and his daughter were very busy at this time period, during this time period. And, well, he didn't mow his lawn, and it went above. It went above what what is allowed here, 10 inches, or I think 10 inches. Um, yeah, well, code enforcers came, slapped him with a $1,700 fine for oh, grass that achieved a height of above 6 inches. Sorry, not 10 inches, 6 inches. And, yeah, the warrant was issued for his arrest. He didn't have the money to pay, so he spent 17 days in jail and said this, yes, we should have been more on top of it, but we were so busy with work, and when we got a warning from the city, we handled it. So they threw him in jail anyway. Um, we've got to change our psyche, and communities really need to come together and support one another and demand that these code enforcers and demand that these laws, rules, regulations go away. Demand it. Demand it. You don't ask. You don't wait for your next town council meeting. You go to their offices, all of you in this community. Why? Why? Why in Florida, Dundon, this city, 2007, uh, 2007, they made 34000 off of fines. Decade later, they made 700000 Last year, they made $1.3 million. Do you think they're going to stop? No. No. See, they continue to do more and more when they're given permission by the silence and inaction that is taking place in communities. You let these narcissistic, psychopathic, control freak nut jobs go. You don't hold them accountable for their behavior. There's no limit to what they can do. And they don't care. They do not care that they are destroying people's lives over, over long grass. I want to also just point out, California ready to ban gas-powered cars, not yet, but they're thinking about it. All right, look, you know, this mega region, the Agenda 2030, it's happening, it's, it's, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's full speed ahead with so many organizations. This was just posted today, how a new era of mega regions is taking shape. Yeah, amid rapid urbanization, neighboring cities are joining forces to create mega regions. All right. Yeah, it's uh, preaching to the choir. Competing in a global market. 11 U.S. mega regions and implications for real estate invest investors. We've got regional planning commissions. Uh, a national regional planning commission and then regional planning councils all implementing Agenda 2030 and the reshaping of the world but also United States mega regions and then people laugh at us they laugh or they call us crazy what are you off your meds conspiracy theorists in the gray area no human habitation huh. and here world um, this is Office of Planning, Environment, and Reality Planning. Mega regions and multi jurisdictional planning. What are mega regions? U.S. mega regions, planning frameworks, mega region economic, economics, um, 
there are so many universities, so many local governments, uh, organizations, NGOs, architecture firms, regional planning um, associations, real estate. Um, companies and they're all on board implementing the reshaping of the United States, emerging mega regions. My God, the world's mega regions. It's not nation states or even cities, but mega regions. Combinations of multiple metro areas that are the real forces powering the global economy. Break down those borders. It's not nation states or even cities anymore, but mega regions. And, well, if you look at um, what are the mega regions of the United States, here, Arizona Sun Corridor mega region, made up of the southern portion of the state of Arizona all the way down to Mexico. Wow, okay. Well, I guess there won't be borders, right? Yeah. How about Cascadia, Washington, the entire state, and parts of Oregon, Idaho, um, particularly the city of Boise, parts of California, Nevada, Wyoming, Montana, Alaska, and into Canada. And Florida, well, it seems that the Panhandle, rural counties, they're all excluded. Florida mega region, really, it is pretty much just southern Florida. Uh, Front Range, mega region, parts of Colorado, Wyoming, um, into New Mexico, urban center, centers of Santa Fe and Albuquerque. Great Lakes mega region includes Ontario, Quebec, uh, stretches into the U.S. Midwest to the states bordering the Great Lakes, Northeast to Pennsylvania and New York, includes Detroit, Chicago, Buffalo, Pittsburgh, Gulf Coast, is Matamoros, Matamoros, Moros, I'm sorry, I don't know, Brownsville, and Reynosa McAllen, situated on either side of the international border separating the U.S. state of Texas and Mexico. No borders. Uh, do you think Trump is putting up that wall? No. He is, he's, he's a businessman. He's really for public-private partnership. And that's what his infrastructure plan is. And I posted a video on Trump's trillion-dollar infrastructure plan. Yep. Private, public-private partnership. And it is the implementation of Agenda 2030. Um, Northeast mega region, Boston, Washington, Boston, New York City, Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, Northern California. All right, San Francisco, Oakland, San Jose, Sacramento includes Nevada's Reno and Tahoe area, Piedmont, Atlantic, Atlanta, Georgia, Charlotte and Raleigh, Durham area in North Carolina as well as Memphis and Nashville in Tennessee and Greenville, South Carolina. Um, Southern California mega region includes eight to 10 counties, Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, San Bernardino, San Diego, Santa Barbara, and goes down into Tijuana. Um, also Las Vegas and the Texas Triangle, Austin, Houston, San Jose, um, Antonio, Dallas, Fort Worth, includes Oklahoma City, Tulsa, Metropolitan Corridor. Very real, very real indeed. But you know what? Um, it's None of this is being stopped. And it is unfortunate that Americans are just sitting back and either not caring or just um, acting like, you know, they, oh, well, I'm not even going to put them in seventh grade, fifth grade. It's like, oh, you're just stupid and you're so, you know, um, you just don't know what you're talking about after you've done, you know, the research and you have weighed the evidence and, you know, you were engaged in that, uh, well, what used to be admired, critical thinking, you know, 
you're engaged in that activity and then you weigh the evidence and well you're just trying to educate people and what you hear is God you are crazy conspiracy theorists well it's really happening so guess you know they're gonna gasoline powered cars mm, well eventually it will be gone because you'll be in a mega region you'll be living in a stack and pack you will be walking or taking public transportation um, but you know if they ban gasoline powered cars that's gonna put a real crimp in a lot of people's lifestyle and well it will actually destroy financially a lot of people who cannot afford you know an electric powered car by the way I vaguely remember reading something recently about how electric powered cars actually produce more CO2 Am I getting that right? Well, forget about it. The map of the Northern California mega region. This was 2016. 2016. Okay. Yuba. That's as far north as it goes. This is the Northern California mega region. The gray area, no human habitation. And I am sorry to say that Northern California, well, you're not included, nor are you included in the Cascadia corridor. Yeah, Cascadia, you go to Yuba City and this whole area. is not included. So that's one of the reasons why you see the fires. It's one of the reasons why you, know, you see uh, the destruction that has taken place. Well then people ask me, all right Carol, well why why is Houston? That's part of the mega region. It's getting destroyed with flooding, repeated flooding. Understand this, it takes a lot of money to reshape the infrastructure and to create these smart smart mega regions, smart cities, and that's one of the ways in which they pay for it. They destroy the infrastructure. They also have, you know, it's part of the depopulation. Um, but who pays then for all of this new infrastructure, the new New World Order infrastructure? They get it through donations. Oh, Red Cross, all those, you know, famous people we're going to hold a um, donate-a-thon for Hurricane Harvey and they pull in 50 million and it doesn't go to the victims and your taxes but they do need to recreate these mega regions so that's why they're not putting any money into infrastructure because it's all old and they don't want it in the new world order new infrastructures are happening in the mega regions so all right yeah when i saw the actual detailed map of the northern california mega region it kind of well hit me all links are below